Hola, ¿qué tal mis amigos? Me llamo Max y como siempre estoy muy emocionado a enseñarte inglés. Welcome back to Aprender Inglés Americano. On this channel, we talk a lot about sounding more like a native speaker. Today, we take it one step further. We will learn 15 of the most common expressions in the United States so you can boost your fluency instantly. By the end of the lesson, you will be able to use them in your daily conversations and native English speakers will be so impressed. They may even say, wow, your English is amazing. All right, let's start with our first phrase. I don't know about this. It's due tomorrow. I'm a little overwhelmed. I'm a little bit overwhelmed. I have to go to Alicor tomorrow and, and I'm a little overwhelmed. I'm a little overwhelmed is to say you're feeling stressed about something or about everything in your life. Overwhelmed. With all of these tasks, I'm a little overwhelmed right now. I'm a little bit overwhelmed. I'm a little bit overwhelmed. <laughs> Go to Alicor tomorrow, and and I'm a little overwhelmed. I have to go to Alicor tomorrow, and and I'm a little overwhelmed. This next one is a little less literal. I'm looking forward to. Yes, I'm looking forward to it. Yes, I'm looking forward to it. Now, don't get fooled. You're not actually looking forward at anything. I'm looking forward to is to say you were excited about something in the future. That's what we mean by forward. I'm looking forward to next weekend. I'm looking forward to it. Yes, 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 I'm looking forward to it. Y si tú quieres educar tu oído 100% gratis, tengo un entrenamiento que me tomó meses crear uh, que puedes bajar hoy en día 100% gratis. Educa tu oído hoy. Enlace en el primer comentario. Oh, man. I'm wondering how my friends enjoyed themselves today. Well, you could ask, how was your day? So how was your day at school? Fine. How was your day? Asking someone how they feel about how their day was. Did they enjoy it? Did they not enjoy it? For example, how was your day at school? How was your day? So how was your day at school? Fine. So how was your day at school? Fine. How was your day? How was your day? Let's go to, what are you up to? So what are you up to these days? What are you up to? What are you up to is asking someone what they are doing right now or recently, their job or school or even a sport they've been learning or what they plan on doing in the future. What are you up to this evening? What are you up to? So what are you up to these days? So what are you up to these days? What are you up to? What are you up to? Man, I'm so hungry. Let's grab a bite to eat. Now let's grab a bite to eat. Yeah. Let's grab a bite to eat first. Let's grab a bite to eat suggests eating something together. A meal, usually at a restaurant. Let's grab a bite to eat before the movie. Let's grab a bite to eat. Now let's grab a bite to eat. Yeah. Now let's grab a bite to eat. Yeah. Let's grab a bite to eat first. Let's grab a bite to eat first. This package is so heavy. Could you give me a hand? Could you give me a hand with these boxes? What? Do you uh, give me a hand with the couch? This is asking someone for help with something, like a box or groceries. Come give me a hand with my bags. Could you give me a hand with these boxes? Could you give me a hand with these boxes? What? Do you uh, give me a hand with the couch? What? Do you uh, give me a hand with Where did Cody go? I don't have a clue. No, I don't have a clue. I don't have a clue about marriage. 
I don't have a clue is saying you don't know something. I don't have a clue about the answer. No, I don't have a clue. No, I don't have a clue. I don't have a clue about marriage. I don't have a clue about marriage. Hey, you look confused. What's on your mind? What's on your mind? Fireworks. What's on your mind? What's on your mind is asking someone to share their thoughts. What's on your mind today? What's on your mind? Fireworks. What's on your mind? Fireworks. What's on your mind? What's on your mind? Hey, you look sad. What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter with you? What's the matter is asking if someone has something wrong. What's the matter? You look sad. What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? Hey, are you from here? No. Where did you grow up? Where did you grow up? Where did you grow up? Where did you grow up is asking someone where they lived when they were a child. Where did you grow up before coming here? Where did you grow up? 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 Hey, do you work on the weekends? What do you do for a living? What do you do for a living? So, what do you do for a living? What do you do for a living is asking about someone's job, what they do to get money. What do you do for a living? I am a teacher and also an actor. What do you do for a living? What do you do for a living? So, what do you do for a living? So, what do you do for a living? You seem stressed. How's your work going? So how's your work going? That's going well. How's your work going? How's your work going is asking someone if their job is good or not. How's your work going at your new job? So how's your work going? That's going well. So how's your work going? That's going well. How's your work going? How's your work going? Wow. You live in Spain now? That's so far. Let's keep in touch. All right, let's keep in touch. Let's keep in touch, okay? Let's keep in touch is suggesting to stay connected. You don't want to lose contact with that person. You'll message them or call them. After school, let's keep in touch and stay friends. You could also say, stay in touch. All right, let's keep in touch. Alright, let's keep in touch. Let's keep in touch, okay? Let's keep in touch, okay? My friend, the project is due tomorrow. You haven't even started? Nah, but I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out is saying you will find a solution. Don't stress. Don't worry, I'll figure it out and fix the problem. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. That's a good idea. What about gasoline? That's a good idea. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea is to agree with what someone said. That's a good idea to go to the park. That's a good idea. What about gasoline? That's a good idea. What about gasoline? That's a good idea. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, that's a good idea. No way. Was that already 15? You guys are awesome. We just unlocked 15 of the most common expressions so you can speak like a native speaker. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and share with your learning language buddies. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe for more exciting lessons. Your support makes our channel possible. Now, remember, if you don't use it, you'll lose it. So 
don't hesitate to use these phrases in your everyday conversations. Okay, before we say goodbye, check out the description below for a special treat. We prepared some totally free English ebooks to help you on your language learning adventure. Learning a new language is no easy task, so simply click the link and download them and continue enhancing your skills. Oh, and one more thing. Let me know in the comments which phrase you're most excited to try out. We have to stay in touch. Muchas gracias, mi amigos. Me amo, Max, y hasta la vista.